Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for another edition of Grixis Discard. Our last like three-ish times that we've played the deck, we've been getting around three and two quite a bit with the deck here recently, which isn't spectacular, but it's not, not too bad. It's not as good as what we were doing earlier. Uh, about a month ago or so, we are getting five wins basically every time we played the deck. So um, it hasn't really been necessarily a lot of things wrong with the deck. It's just been the metagame's a little bit different, and we've been playing against some tougher matchups. Things that we don't want to see, and the main thing that we've been struggling with is Mono Red. Mono Red has moved towards a lot of Experimental Frenzies, and of course, ex Experimental Frenzy being an enchantment is a difficult card for us. And previously, Mono Red was not playing Experimental Frenzy, and we could actually have a, a an okay matchup against them. We were winning, you know, about half the time. But with Experimental Frenzy, we're winning like, you know, a third of the time. Uh, and that's that's a lot tougher. Um, a third or a fourth of the time. Uh, besides that, uh, green, red, green Red decks are picking up in popularity that are playing Carnage Tyrants. And Carnage Tyrants the card that is another card that's really problematic that we I could adapt the deck to be better against Carnage Tyrant, but it's still not quite big enough for me to do that. The way we would do that is have a Star of Extinction or two in the sideboard. Um, we could have Detection Tower over Arch of Orozco. We have an Arch of Orozco way down here. Um, but we could have Detection Tower over there. Haven't felt the need to do that quite yet, um, but... You know, we have struggled against some green-red creature decks there. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Spellcaster. And, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, we we never beat a Vine Mare ever. Uh, and we, we have played against somebody playing Vine Mare. It's just not a card you basically ever see. But overall, besides that, though, the deck is really powerful. It's really fun to play. The games are pretty long and interesting. And I'm, uh, yeah, and so let's try out some more. Grixis discard. Let's knock them dead. Should we go Rakdos or Angrath? Here be monsters. I think we went Angrath last Let's time. Let's go. Let's paint the town red. Let's go Rakdos. I feel like we can get maybe some better luck with Rakdos. I know we went Angrath last time I played the deck, and yeah, I think we went three and two or two and two. Oh, so this was six and three, because that's best of one. So I was six and three, and now we are O and O over here. Rakdos doesn't sound as demonic as you feel that he should. So besides the new bulls, have any other cards come out in Sparks that will make Rixus discard better? Um, I th I think so. Uh, what are they exactly? Well, both Chandra and Liliana are both very good Planeswalkers. Um, Liliana, in particular, seems like it works pretty well in this deck with that minus four of just making the opponent sacrifice two creatures. Like, Liliana's probably a one of, at least in, in this kind of deck. And I could see maybe Chandra also. Chandra's just really good. They both are. Um, but definitely Liliana, Dreadhorde General. Um, besides that, I don't think Finale of Promise. I could see maybe Dreadhorde Invasion as like a sideboard card against control. Maybe that's better than Thief of Sanity. Probably not though. Probably Thief of Sanity is the way to go. Oh yeah, Liliana's Triumph. Each opponent sacks a creature. You control Liliana. They discard a card also. Maybe if sacrificing ends up mattering a whole lot. I don't know. There will be some things. There's so many good cards in War of the Spark. I could see just the deck changing completely. I could see just moving away from Disinformation Campaign and just going with like a different Grixis Control without Disinformation Campaign. It kind of just matters what happens with the metagame. Because playing control, control decks like this... <clears throat> Oh, well, now I wish I had that campaign. 
but playing control decks like this, you do need to make sure you have pretty good game against the metagame. All right, so we're going to play Ritual of Sit this next turn. And then I'm going to play Bolus. And then if they kill Bolus, I need another Bolus. Let's just ditch. Yeah, there's a lot of powerful stuff on the way. All right, Clue King. I'll see you later. We have not played against Control as much with this deck recently, and that's really the strength of Grixis is facing other Control decks. We want to be facing Esper, for example. <clears throat> the other good part about just putting both cards in the, in the graveyard and not keeping a card is it shows weakness towards the opponent that may overextend more because they think that we don't have the card on top. Like, if I keep a card on top, that means that I have a plan for all those creatures if I'm keeping a card on top. So that means that I probably have, like, that's probably a Ritual of Sud kind of thing. So ditching both the cards and displaying weakness does incentivize my opponent to play more cards out like that. Well, that was the worst possible thing we could ever see was that turn. <laughs> so we have to find another discovery. What kills my opponent faster, Angrath or Bolas? Or do I just want to activate as Kanta and look for a dis discovery dispersal? Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. So we're going to go down to four. And we have Contempt available here for a creature or acting this, because I need to find Discovery Dispersal for the Dispersal part to be able to take out this Frenzy. No, Bedevil does not destroy Experimental Frenzy. We're just dead. We are just dead. Yeah, maybe they just hit tons and tons of lands in a row. Frenzy is such a problem. I mean, we just ritual it away four creatures and it just doesn't matter. 
There's a frenzy. They can have all these negates and duresses to try to make sure they don't get to frenzy. I try that. Maybe let, let's go thief route. Actually, usually I want to cut. Like discovery is a card I want to cut in this matchup, but we can't really cut it because of dispersal. Trying something different with the thief route. Right, moment of craving. I mean, we just... No, yeah, we have all these duresses because we just got to get Frenzy. It's, the spells are really what, what kill us. We have a lot of removal for the creatures, so we're usually pretty good against creatures, but we just don't stop burn spells very well at all. So having all these duresses are good. Yeah, that was Gaslight Anthem. That was 45. That's the name of the song. And Chapstick. It's the other thing for the new set. Uh, we're talking about like cards from the new set to maybe have. Uh, in this deck in the future. I'm not sure if there are... I'm not sure if they had any gain life cards in it. Any good quality gain life cards in Grixis Colors and or ways to kill an experimental frenzy. Or more of the sparks. I don't think I really saw too much there, but if... If those are options... Keeping Dispersal. We already used one Discovery. I think I need to keep Dispersal for Frenzy. We're just going to have so many cards in hand still, though. Yeah, I have a four-color version of this deck that splashes white from Mortify and Kaya's Wrath and Teferi. So it's really like Esper splashing red for Bolas and Angrath. Yeah, that's true. New Ugin. Yeah, New Ugin would be able to... Well, that's a win. That Frenzy's gone. Is their last card Frenzy? Also? No, okay. Wait, don't... Uh, I, think I, I think they might have done that during combat work. They could have still used this. Well, all right, we know we need Ritual of Soot. There we go. Oh, Liz. 
All right, so we're still at 12. So my plan next turn is to flip the bolus and get a new bolus. They likely just have a burn spell right now that they're in their hand. No, Star Extinction doesn't remove enchantments. Yeah, so maybe new Ugin sees a little bit of play in this because that is that is a card for Grixis to be able to use to destroy enchantments. That is true. It's another six mana planeswalker though. Um, question is, have I tried this with main deck Sinister Sabotage? This power and Sinister Sabotage incredible. does not work well um, from just a, a theoretic this standpoint and everything. It does not work well with um, Disinformation Campaign. You have to go one way or the other. Because Campaign's a card that you, that you really want to play early. You know, if you if you wait till late, then they just don't have any cards in hand uh, for you to campaign away. But if you're playing campaign early, then you empty their hand, and then they don't have like the cards for you to sabotage, kind of thing. They don't work too well together in like the same slot. Like it, it's pretty awkward. You have to go one or the other, basically. I always have an answer. Yeah, that was not bad. Not a bad draw for the opponent. In that frenzy there. Yeah, needed a land frenzy for the light at the stage. Well, at least the frenzy wasn't very nice to them. Ending land land, that's good for us. Go grab a chain whirler. My knowledge is endless. Two, four, six, eight. All of our cards are evens, whether we have whether we have eight or nine mana is not a difference. Good, I love seeing those cards. I can handle Steamkins all day. Alright, so this should be lethal. Well, I guess, depending on what my opponent has on top, they could have a shock. So we are going to go grab Lava Runner. Death means nothing Attack for six. Me. And now have bol this Bolus transform. And then go grab 
Witness <laughs> the Ashino Pyromancer for the extra two. The dead shall serve me. And there we go. That's how we can do eight damage that turn. All right, so what am I doing here? Still want Thief Plan? I guess so. All right, let's try again. <laughs> That's why Nickel Bolas deserves the sparks. Oh, thanks for the kind words, everybody, though. Okay. That was a good finish of the game there. Let's see if we can steal a game three. Yes, Doom Whisperer is very good. Yes, Doom Whisperer is very good in this kind of deck. Or, sorry, in this kind of matchup. Um, that's where Doom Whisperer is great, is against the, against the aggro decks to help you race. I, you know, as you can tell here, I don't, you know, I don't have any Doom Whisperers in here, but if aggro, the, the more, um, the more popular aggro is, the more you'd want Doom Whisperer, and you could take out, like, an Angrath from the main for a Doom Whisperer, you could have another one over that Rowl in the sideboard for some examples there, but yes, that's, that's a card that if aggro is real popular in your area, you can, uh, tune your deck for. Let's take that lightning strike. We'll, I'll figure out how to get rid of this bane fire later. They just played a land from hand, and they didn't even play that land from. All right. It's gonna make that bane fire a tad worse. I know that that this doesn't make my ritual of soot better, but honestly, all the life is just so valuable in this matchup. But I know I, I could have just cast Discovery here and planned on Ritual Sitting the way the two creatures next turn. But really didn't want to just take that extra two there. All the all the life is valuable. Y'all will figure out some way to deal with that later. And good thing Bane fires a sorcery. So we don't have to... You know, so if that was Lightning Strike, they could just strike us in response. If Thief could possibly miss on a burn spell... Of course, if we, you know, attack them and get Burn Spell on top, it's the best case scenario. But just Steamkin... Steamkin's trouble. Alright, perfect. They land on top. Perfect. They did not have the burn spell. We would not have been able to kill the frenzy. Or sorry, kill kill the steamkin. We would not have been able to kill the steamkin. And there we go.
One and O, oh, defeating Mono Red. All right, Rex just got the MeUndies in the mail today. Going to try them tomorrow. Awesome. Cool, yeah, definitely let me know. The th and like I said before, my... Like, the underwear, like, MeUndies makes really, really nice underwear, but the socks that they make, the dress socks, I mean, I just have one pair, so I don't know if I got, like, some special pair or something, but it is, it is so nice. I really want to get some more. And we've had 12 people sign up for getting, trying out some clothing from MeUndies right now. Um, I do have a referral link for... 15% off your entire first purchase. So feel free to check them out as well. If you want like some really thick dress socks, uh, nice and comfy, make it feel like your like your dress shoes are like padded and stuff for work. You know, feel like you have like padded shoes on. Uh, but then again, they're also, I mean, it's called me undies. They're also known for their underwear. Supposedly three times as soft as cotton. So love our hand. You know, this looks like, you know, we're playing against... Um, <clears throat> we're playing against Sultai here. Love having the early disinformation campaigns. This is... This is very nice. Disinformation campaign is great. And especially in this spot, on the play, nothing else on the battlefield. Just doesn't get much better for us than this. Frilled Mystic. <laughs> no, I actually have dress dress pants on here. Actually, do have dress pants and dress socks and dress shoes on right now. Feature, you got your Harry's kit last week. Awesome. Yeah, Harry's, we're at... We only need three more people to sign up for Harry's to do another 12-hour stream. Harry's, you get their starter kit for only $3 sent to you. <laughs> um, sorry, do another little uh, sponsor thing here real quick, but... Um, yeah, my... I don't know. My place is a You're little just cold. Fuel for your crew for my I think that's why I got the shoes on while, while streaming. Sometimes I'll wear slippers. Um. Hey, what's up, Zeke? Thanks for that resub. You are awesome. Feature says, Harry's is so cost-effective versus other five-blade razors. Pretty much a no-brainer if you shave semi-regularly. It really is a no-brainer there, because, yeah, you get their, you can't their five blade razor it. starter set, including shaving cream, sent to your house for $3. That's that's just not very much money. No Check it out. Um, no how it works steel. is you have to do a couple things. So just go through my referral link and sign up for their... It usually costs $13 for a starter set. Sign up for their subscription, which a subscription usually costs, or the su subscription knocks it down $5. Hmm. This is a tough choice. The subscription is cancelable any time, though, so you, you don't have to make any further purchases if you don't want to. So that knocks it from 13 to 8, and then use coupon code TOTSTEVENSMTG. And using that coupon code knocks it from 8 to 3. Kind of want to take this Vivian. Yeah, I guess Find is good too. It's either Vivian or Find. Like, these are the two options, Vivian and Find. I'll take find. Oh yeah, Angrath is so great against Diva Sanity. Let's 
efficiency. All these cards just offer, you know, a bunch of card advantage. And so that's what makes Disinformation Campaign really good in this matchup, you know, attacking their hand and not letting them get all this card advantage. No one said restoration was painless. Ooh, I love that. Love Vivian at three loyalty. Now I could play Bolas next turn and have their Vivian kill the Bolas. Yeah, I love it. All right, so I'm just going to empty their hand completely. No fire, no steel. And go Bolas and campaign. And yes, yes, this means they can kill my Angrath, but we have the backup Angrath, so we're good. Made them discard so many good cards because that's their deck. Two frilled mystics that find the Vivian, Thief of Sanity, a Krasis. And now look at this, they have like nothing. Balance comes. Alright, they're taking up. Good, no hostage taker. <clears throat> Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Attack here, attack here. Not bad for a mouse. <clears throat> Alright, just drawing cards. I know. I want land drops. I don't think we really need to put anything in, in play. This is what disinformation campaign can help do. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous what we have going on right now. Alright, I'm gonna kill those things. Uh give me this thief. Isn't death amusing? I don't know, probably. I would not have been surprised if they would have conceded after that ritual, honestly. Draw the card and concede. Alright, not concede. Not yet, at least. We got chemistry's in sight. This frilled mystic over here. I don't like my opponent having stuff. Me. Let me get rid of their stuff. Yes, drawing two is technically better there, but we're winning this either way. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. But yeah, so again, so if you want to help support the stream, getting something from Harry's there, uh, great way to do it. Get that $3 shave kit sent to you. Do you need to turn off your ad block for the site to be able to have the, the notification pop up on screen? But you know, you can get it either way. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Dirk? Alright, so against 
Sultai. I usually just want to take out Duress and put in Ral. That's usually just my plan here. I think that's going to be my plan still. All right, King Toll ha having an early night. All right. Yeah, get some good sleep. So we may be changing our strategy up for game three. This looks like this may be explorerless Sultai. And we didn't see any explorer creatures at all. I don't want to necessarily assume that quite yet. But this looks like this could be explorerless where we don't need as many ritual of sets. Um, but again, we'll we'll kind of cross that bridge if we do end up switching some stuff up. Yeah, the last deck that we played was a best of one deck. So we played the best of one league is where you play until you win six, or sorry, until you win seven or lose three. I don't know when we'll have the London Mulligan rule, but I don't expect it to be too long. I, I think that that Mulligan rule will likely get... Um, I think it will likely get implemented like this summer. Did they miss a land drop? They did. That's all I have are land drops. So they play Frilled Mystic and they have Double Swamp in their Frilled Mystic deck. Interesting. So, Disdainful Strike's a 1 for 1, Negate's a 1 for 1, Contempt's a 1 for 1, Thief we can, like, kill, you kind of 1 for 1. This is the only thing that's a 2 for 1 in their hand, is the Frilled Mystic, but they just can't actually cast that card ever. I just take Thief. Alright, no blue mana for a turn, please. Let me cast this, let me cast this campaign. They have three basic swamps in their Frilled Mystic deck? Oh, wow. Time to snowball. And three basic swamps. Three. Well, we don't really have anything going on over here either right now, so. Need another surveil thing, pick up these campaigns, and get back on that campaign trail. Playing Bolas just plays into Disdainful Stroke. We can maybe try to try to wait and everything. Just throwing out, throwing out my Bolas to a Disdainful Stroke is just not worth it.
I should contempt this. Because of fine finality, I should contempt that and hold the devil. We're honestly really not in that great of a spot here. They have so many cards in their hand. Could have really used a surveil thing there or another planeswalker or something, but at least we're taking their nickel. We're you know our bolus is take eating the contempt. You know, bolus kind of always eats contempt. Well, never mind. This is worse. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Let's do this All right. again. Something good. Sometimes restoration. I'll take a surveil card. I'll take a planeswalker. I will not take a ritual of that. No. Brick. Looks bad for us now. All right, so we definitely know to sideboard out Ritual of Soots now with, you know, seeing how their deck is. So we're going to have more Duress Negate kind of cards. Um, could play Thief ourselves as well. Definitely like being more proactive there when we're on the play also. I probably have Frilled Mystic up now. What is our opponent's win condition? Uh, Thieva Sandy, Frilled Mystic, and Hydrocrasis, and Vivian. What's my win condition? Yeah, mine is Angrath and Bolas, and I have a, a Ral in here also. Oh yeah, our opponent had Chemistry's Insight. That was a good clue on Explore with Sultai. Four basic swamps in the Frilled Mystic deck. Four basic swamps. Not basic islands or, or forests. Four swamps. Bruce, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the channel for our resub here for the second month. And we are at 20 now for our countdown. Yeah, the arch was clutch. Uh, much more reliable. Vivian here, though. I was I liked where we were at quite a bit before this Vivian. Vivian, though, and I've already used two Contempts and one Bedevil. So I only have two more Planeswalker removal spells. I guess that's kind of like a Planeswalker removal spell. If I used the Dispersal part. But let's pick up these campaigns. I'll take that. No other basics besides swamps allowed in these parts. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So yeah, we definitely can. We don't need this land to be able to play the bolus and flip the bolus.
This will eat the contempt. Yeah, I don't I don't really mind that they are gonna contempt the bolus, that's fine. No one can stand in my way. I just want Vivian dead. <laughs> Not dead yet. Still a very good trade for us. We have Arch. They don't. Ugh. That's a good draw. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one we start with. Should have waited before I played my land. I could have played this Blood Crypt and tapped. Ugh. Folly. Alright, so Folly gets back. Krasis. Do I play Volus right now or do I wait till next turn? It could get countered. I mean, they could just get back Frilled Mystic. I think I just play it right now. <laughs> that was a clutch ritual of Soot. I was saying that I would want to sideboard that out. That was a clutch one there. How many boluses has this been? It's our third. Because they play Big Krasis, I flip Bolus, get Vivian, and have Vivian kill Krasis. No, no Angrath in Graveyard. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. That means now my Bolus won't die. Getting attacked. I am limitless. The dead shall serve me. I that can't help you now. Two, three, four, five. So we still have enough mana to activate Arch. We can put this in tapped. I'll just wait just in case they have like a duress or whatever. We'll just wait till their turn to draw with Arch. Uh, probably. So yeah, we got we're playing the rest of this league and then next league, Abzan Bugler. So that's what we got going on here. This has been a good match. Arch of Roscoe has been clutch for us this game. It certainly really helped how our opponent didn't get to play spells for a, a very long time. With four basic swamps in their Frilled Mystic deck. But they're coming back. They draw cards. Can they handle a Nickel Bulls the Arisen? Maybe not. Draw cards. My genius is unmatched. The Simic midrange deck that I had up there, yeah, you just the you could probably play without four of the rare shield. lands. Just play 
you know, play guild gates? You probably can. Let them do that. Ooh. Those are good. <laughs> it's kind of weird how we're at the point like where I kind of would rather have disinformation campaign. That's their fifth basic swamp. Five basic swamps. Never no fire, no steel. They drew a bunch of cards that just gave me more cards to <clears throat> make them discard. Unmorty ego. Okay. So Bola's gone. I mean, we still have like the Bolas on the battlefield and everything. Yeah, we've already gone through all of our Bolases. Like that just took the bolus from our hand, kind of thing. I'll be back, just like before. Just like before. You ready to go toe to toe? Alright, let's kill that thing. I think I want a Thieves Sandy in play. Death Get another win con. To me. Help mill this opponent. No fire, no steel. Um. Alright, cast one of these things. We have 16 cards in the library now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can still play this and activate as Kanta and draw a card. No, I'm one short of playing that and drawing a card with Araska, so we'll just play this one. So I just have to make sure I don't mill myself out. We're at 14 cards right now. Yeah, opponent's a good game. You best start thinking fast. You're on your own. Okay, um... You're no fire, no steel. Found another Angrath. They're at 12. Hmm. 
13 cards in library. I always have an answer. 11. That's it. I don't I don't think I need a plus up Ral. So we're at 11, they're at 19. Yeah, I think I could use a, an arena restart here after this one. Tapped all those swamps. So even if they found a Contempt, can't even cast Contempt. Tapped all those swamps. I just have one black mana now. <laughs> How the Gatewatch beat Bolas. They decked him. It's kind of close. I basically only have Angrath and Thief of Sanity that do any damage. Kind of close. Damn your eyes. Ram a new course free. So I have to really worry about decking. I should have another Angrath in here somewhere. I mean, I am going to take up Bolas one more time. I know what must Yep, there's my other done. Angrath. Here, no fire, no steel. And now Bolas can minus four um, and get an Angrath back or get something else back. We're at eight cards. Bum, 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 bum. Can't draw too many cards with this crisis opponent. <laughs> Bolus does not deal any damage to the opponent. Only deals damage to creatures and planeswalkers. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, there are nine cards. Come on, computer. You can do it. You can make it. No fire. You no can do it, steel. little computer. On. Almost there. Isn't death amusing? All right, so they have six cards left in library. We have seven. If our opponent did not negate, they would be discarding the negate. But yeah. Um, I think just ha just discarding the negate and having me draw a card is probably better for them. Yeah, thief mill plan. 
working out because now we're at seven they're at five so now even even if they had like if they draw ritual of soot or whatever answer these i don't know you know they draw what like i don't know star of extinction they can't cast that i don't know whatever they play if the battlefield gets cleared our opponent's going to mill out more or they're going to mill out first now Yes, we do not want to draw more cards, so Thought Erasure into Double Campaign is bad. Yes. <laughs> they really should be doing these Krasises for five. You don't draw an extra card, but five means no Lava Coil. I guess five is an extra point of damage, though. My freedom, <laughs> a fair price. Okay, thief would have milled them out there. That was a long game. Long game. Both had. You know, less than 10 cards in our library. That was a really good game. Let's do a reset here on Arena. It just takes a second. <laughs> yes, they were Explorless Sultai. We didn't really see Thought Erasures in their deck, which is that's like the card that you usually see in, in Explorerless Ultai also is Thought Erasure, and I, I don't remember them ever having a Thought Erasure. Don't think they did. That was like the surprising part of their deck. So next week we're going to finish out... Next week... Oh, man. Upcoming days are going to be so great. We have... Next week we're gonna have um, all the rest of the cards for War of the Spark. We're gonna like find out what happens with the story, with Bolas and everything. It's gonna be so exciting. And then we even have like tomorrow is Game of Thrones coming back. Uh, okay, kaboom! Hey, good luck. We did, Smith. We won. So what are y'all doing to prepare for Game of Thrones? Coming back. Have y'all done anything special to prepare for it? Like, have you... Have you been maybe, I don't know, going back and rewatching like the last season or all of the episodes or anything like that? Ooh, JGR just I says rewatching for about season four. Yes, I didn't say four. Have it on the, ba in the background. There you go. Funny, that's what I do. Danced around a fire for a while. So I'm just not scared of this Kaya at all, honestly. I'm gonna save the discovery for after the campaign. Yeah, just not I'm not worried about this Kaya at all. Oh, I could do a Game of Thrones stream tomorrow so I can play knights, Bye. zombies, and dragons. I like where her head's at, Mike. So why did I not have? Why did I not discard Lyra? Because we were gonna, I don't know, make them discard some more cards and stuff. I figured we'd make them discard the Lyra with like the campaign and everything before it came to that. 
Oh, I like it. Game of Game of Thrones day tomorrow. So knights, zombies, dragons. Something vanished. Funny, that's what I do. Walls. <laughs> and aristocrats. Aristocrats is the other one. I like it. That one makes sense. is dark and full of rectus. Pack your bags and hit the road. Seems like a really good idea. Man, is it... That's ah, too greedy. I really want to campaign first and hit a land drop. It's just too greedy. A high alert wall deck with zombies. <laughs> I'm really good at banishing things. Kai just doesn't do anything. Just don't have to be worried about Kai at all. Could use another ritual of soot. Okay, see, like, these things are problems. I'll reap what you sow. I'll be back. Just you wait. I don't I don't, don't think you'll be back, Kaya. This Give me this power is incredible. The dead shall serve me. I like this Lyra. Ooh. Who's the discard deck now? Hey, uh, Rivlaz, yeah, love these these full art lands and everything. They look so cool. Especially, like, this one looks really nice. Wait. They have eight attacking me, four attacking Bolas. So I just get the choice. My knowledge is endless. I will end it. Okay, we'll have Eldest Reborn, hmm, Moment of Craving, Duress, Negate, nothing, is Rao better than Angrath?
I guess I need these moment of cravings because our opponent likely has Adanto Vanguards. I don't know what card I want to take out though. Maybe I'll just take out a Bedevil. Yeah. Yeah, like we have a lot of cards that are situationally good against different stuff, but I like our game one plan here. I think campaign's a bit too slow. Campaign just won us that match like by miles, like hands down. Campaign was incredible there. They have a lot of more expensive mythics and stuff, like with these different angels. So we take it like a history. All right, they have another Adanto Vanguard. I don't want to deal with a second one, so we'll get rid of that. Um, Scarby's not bad. So next turn, Moment of Craving. Or no, next turn, Thought Erasure. And then the following turn, Moment plus Discovery. Those cards are good. Yep, I'll just take those. They could have Mortify right here. I can take an extra three. That's fine. Even if they have Mortify, I can go down to ten. No Cry of the Carnariums in the deck at all. Bolas. Alright, so back up to 12. We have the Devil Discovery. They have Lyra and two unknowns. I'll just take another Discovery. Let's dig deeper. Alright, getting rid of lots of lands. Getting more lands. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's only ten lands so far through twenty cards. Uh, Seraph, why'd you have to have a Seraph? Why do we have to have a Seraph? Looks like we're going to lose this. Most definitely drawn pretty well. Having that Mortify and then Land Seraph and let's get all this stuff. That third Adanto Vanguard making me use my Contempt. It's not look good for us. Okay. That's the one of the best cards we could draw. You know, obviously, like, just having a Lava Coil. Uh, Lava Coil or Contempt were really the cards that 
and definitely wanted to draw, but this is a good one. So if I take the four from Seraph, then if the opponent has a removal spell for my Lyra, I die. Probably shouldn't risk that. So I'm gonna flip Bolas and grab Lyra. They have like moment craving here, that would be annoying. You can also just draw two. Because if I, dragons, when I if I go get Lyra and then they use removal spell on Lyra, then these three kill <sighs> my Bolas, and that's annoying. So if I draw two, they it goes to nine loyalty, then they attack Bolas for three down to six. Hmm. Is unmatched. So if I kill Lyra, then my Nicol Bolas dies. I didn't really want my Nicol Bolas to die. But now I'm I'm priced into attacking here because if they would draw a removal spell, then then I'm dead, and I just you know obviously I can't be dead. But I thought with you know drawing two cards that a chance to keep Bolus alive. Oh no! All right, where's Ritual of Soot? We haven't seen one of those yet, have we? I don't think we've seen a Ritual of Soot yet. We got four of them in this deck. How much mana do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could go Coil and Contempt. But let's just take this Angrath. And we don't get to Contempt, but we do get to steal the Resplendent. You're just fuel for the fires of your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Oh, block with the... Have your 5-5 five five blocked my 4-4. Four four. What are you doing? They did, just didn't need to take that four. I could still be at 11. Well, the Resplendent Angel is going to die anyway. There's no reason not to attack with the Resplendent Angel. You in chains next time. <laughs> this game's pretty over.
We just don't really need to dispersal. Like just digging for something else. And this has Kanta allows us to continue with some, you know, making sure we have good draw steps kind of thing. Got no fire, no steel. Game just over. Okay, three and O. Oh. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, Nickel Bolas is incredible. Yes, if I would have stole Angrath with Bolas, I could sack their uh, I could sack their Lyra, because yeah, legendary rule, we can only have one in play. So I can take theirs, sack theirs, make sure it doesn't go back to them. I just realized that besides the best of one, you know, that we played, our, our two decks that we've played, we are 8 0 on the day. That's a good day. Yeah, that's a good day. We have a, another donation deck that we're going to be playing after this, an Abzan Bugler deck. It's like Priest of Forgotten Gods Bugler. It looks pretty, pretty spicy. That's what we'll be playing after this. Red. I don't want to face red. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. We barely, barely squeaked by red our first round. Full art bolus. Shade Slayer, welcome back. Thanks for continuing your subscription here for another month. Hmm. So do I want to campaign or thought erasure? Hmm. I think I want a Thought Erasure. Whew. So basically, Py Viachino Pyromancer costs two and deals two to us when it enters. Chain Whirler costs three and deals one to us when it enters. And... So that kind of math is why I took the Viachino. Yeah, we get to sneak in the tap land there. That was definitely big. And plus we get to try to help set up our draw step. Like drawing a Ritual of Soot would be really nice. Let's see if we can do that this turn. No, but let's let's contempt these things. Because if I play Bolas, they discard like their other card. They can like Chain Whirler, deal a damage, attack in with the Chain Whirler, or, or whatever. I don't know. It's I think Contempting is a little safer. We need the Bolas to deal the 20. And it's tough to do that when Bolas dies. Oh, yeah. 
They don't have any more lands. I was hoping they would play a land and they would have one card in hand that would make them discard from Bolas. I, I just still just don't think we're winning this game. That's true. We help our top deck with campaign either way. Because we draw the card. Very true. Another wizard's lightning? Come on. Okay, shock. It's at least one less damage. Come on, play land. Just have two lands in hand. Down to seven. That was a really good call to use the sorcery right then. Not keep the sorcery in hand. That was a really good call by the opponent. And yes, we are dead. With them just finishing out with a, a bunch of burn spells there. I need them to have lands and stuff, not burn spells. No fire. No steel. Right, drew a land. Need them to draw more lands. I'm not sitting back and trying to protect against a, a creature. We need them to draw a land. Come on, like two more turns of lands. Come on. Ugh. All right, so all duress, all negate, all moment, all thief. That plan worked pretty well last time. Getting rid of Angrath, getting rid of Campaign, getting rid of Ascanta, and Bedevil, two Thought Erasures, and the other Bedevil. All right, let's try this. Hey, Miss Previously. I had to run my mouth in saying that we were 8 0 on the day, and now faced against a mono red player that is not. <clears throat> that's not bricking. So not shocking for the duress, because uh, you know, like, just kind of, uh, kind of ruins the whole point of the duress. Hey, Angel. Hope your weekend's going well. to keep it. it like really helps us dig when are we casting this like what like next turn i'm going to coil this one one and play a tap land then the next turn we have duress plus discovery that works Not let them keep getting this chip damage in.
I kind of want to say decline and let them draw cards so I can duress. <laughs> Have a better duress. No. I should take it. Ugh! All right, well, Discovery did a good job there. Ditched a few land, ditched a couple lands for us. That's that was a good Discovery. I don't know if I need to take it. Four damage is a lot. And I think, like, if. You know, if they draw burn spells, um, that's worse. But if they draw creatures, that's going to be better for me. Because I can actually interact with, like, creatures, so. It's only worse for me if they're drawing just specifically burn spells. But they haven't seen, like, any of their creatures. I just hope they draw some creatures. Because if I'm taking the four there... Like, let's say they drew a bunch of burn spells. If I'm taking the four and going to ten, and then their next like few cards are burn spells, I'm not ending this game shortly anyway. So if their next cards are burn spells anyway, they're going to be killing me from ten. But now we're making them have to kill us from fourteen from burn spells, even though they get to draw some cards because the creatures are all dead draws. So like the lands and creatures are all dead. Yeah, all their spells are good. I don't know. Four damage is a lot. It's probably going to eat a shock. Not eating a shock. Against Drakes. Probably just want like some duresses, not negate. Maybe like duress to like protect from, like to be able to take a dive down kind of thing. I'd have to look at the deck completely. Just use my mana here, get rid of that thing, just go up to 8 life. <laughs> Thanks, McCree. They're going Flame of Keld also. I 
So against Drakes with this, I would, I would bring in Reborn, uh, maybe Ral. I would cut all the Ritual of Sets. Yeah, so that's that's four cards to bring out with Ritual of Set. Just bring in Reborn, Ral, Duress, Duress. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, just bring in two Duress. Reborn Ral cut four soot. <sighs> Can I make them draw ten mountains when they're on the play? We'll see. We'll see. We can only hope. No Frenzies or Flamakelds, please. As long as they don't have Frenzy. That's the big thing. Flamakeld in particular is pretty good against me, though. The, the top one being discard your hand, and I'm already trying to make you discard a lot of cards. Okay. Alright, let's draw spells. We're going to have to draw pretty well here. Good start, good start. So, yeah, Weedog says don't like Thief. I don't like Thief against Mono Red too much either, but I think we're kind of in a tough scenario here where I am... Um, I think so. I'm kind of priced into playing it because of how weak I am against Frenzy. And the burn spells and stuff. And before I wouldn't bring it in, but decided to try it today and it's been it's been working out for me so far, so. And our two matches haven't lost a post board game, is that true? Did I lose a post board game last time? No, I don't think so. Good, no light at the stage, that's good. Alright, let's go with Thought Erasure, see if we need to Duress. Because this just uses my mana better. And there's just a much less chance that Thought Erasure is going to be missing. Frenzy, no frenzy. Ooh, that's a okay. Good question there. Question was, do you think that the random card rewards that you get will stick to standard, or they will, or will they go back to as far as arena allows? And I could see them honestly just going back and just just being all cards on arena, honestly. We're looking for Contempts, Moment of Cravings, Negates. We haven't seen any Negates. Negate would be a really good card to draw. Oh, it says there that it... Oh, in the language it says only standard legal cards. Oh, that's true, because you don't get... You can't get, like, Planeswalker deck cards, right? Well, no, those are standard legal, but you can't get those. They're only the cards from the standard legal sets. Really? That's one. That'd be one tough. Goblin Pirate. Hmm. 
We are not drawing too well. I mean, the opponent's flooding out too, though. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've gone through 12 lands and 19 cards. The discovery getting, you know, ditching multiple lands was certainly really good for us because we'd be in huge trouble if we were drawing lands for like the next couple turns also. Do they have like a chain whirler or anything? No, that thing's exiled. Stop dealing damage to me. That little one one. I know what There's must negate. be done. There's negate. That's the card I want. Okay. We defeated Mama Red again. <sighs> yeah, they they flooded out really bad games two and three. Game one, they did not. They had you know, like their four lands and drew a bunch of spells in a row, killed us game one. But then yeah, games two and three, they drew really bad. And. We are on to the final boss. Final boss playlist. We have an extra life also, even if we lose this match. Dun, 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 dun. Love it, getting those final boss emotes in the chat. Good. We have this watery grave. I was a little worried that we didn't have any uh, coming to play, or like we didn't have a shock land to be able to turn on all of our other lands. Steam vents. I don't really want a Grixis mirror. Not with lava coil, lava coil contempt. Okay, well this is just worse for us. <laughs> No, actually, like, I was hoping it was Drake's, was what I was wanting to say, is I wanted it to be Drake's, because Coil, Coil, Contempt, this hand would have been awesome against Drake's. Not, not these creatureless decks. Yeah, Teamer Reclamation, final boss. Don't think we're winning this game. Not with, not with on a mold of four with, you know, like we were just on a mold of four with these, th these cards. Doesn't look like we're winning. Dispersaling, like, we just can't really dispersal here because they just have too many cards in hand, so I guess I'm going to be discovering and looking for something else. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Where's my... 
high emotes. There they are. Can I go to attacks or candidate plus copy? They should really do that on their turn. Because, like, if I had a counterspell here, that'd be kind of a blow. You know, it'd be a two for one kind of thing. But now they get to flip as Kanta. I mean, I could dispersal the Ascanta, but they just replay it the next turn. Play another Bolas. Yeah, if we would have had a Negate or an Ionize or a Sinister Sabotage or anything like that, that would have been really bad for them. Dispersal does not work against niv is it? Because they draw the card in response to the Dispersal, so they would just put it back and they could discard the other card and keep the niv is it? Alright, I guess we weren't on a mold of 4. We were, we were on a mold of 5. Dang, don't have the mana to flip Bolas right now. Could find a Thought Erasure and take that. Alright, do I want... Do I want Campaign? I mean, Campaign is good. If I play Campaign, I'm not playing as Kanta. Would I rather just play as Kanta? I'll take the campaign. Mm. Definitely one Angrath. Angrath is like our way that can, our car that can finish this out. Yeah, I could see this saying untap all basic lands you control. I don't know. There's just never a card that needs to be printed. At least our opponent's not activating as Kanta twice, which they certainly could have done. Wait, do they have Explosion? They didn't just want to Explosion the Bolas for like five more also? Like why cast that Shivan Fire if they have Explosion?
Okay, let's go with all these negates, duresses, Thief of Sanity. Um, Coil, Contempt, Ritual of Soot. It's a lot of fives. I got removal for Niv. Bolus kills Niv. Reborn kills Niv. Rao kills N Rao kills Niv. My Thieva Sandy gets their removal, which kills Niv. Thought Erasure kills Niv. Oh, Phoenix. I was trying to think of, like, Ooze... Ooze, Krasis, like, that kind of stuff. I didn't want Phoenix. That that could be a card to have Contempt for. Phoenix is why... So I should have had Contempt over that... Um, over that Reborn. Forgot about Phoenix. Man. If we just had a couple lands... Duress, Duress, Thought Erasure, Thief... The hand's really good. Okay, we still have Thought Razor Thief. Bolus and Grath. Let's hit land drops. Isn't that like the beacon of... It's like some kind of beacon. It's what you get. It's what you beacon bolt. Two expansions and a crisis. Go, thief, go. Attack. See, now we can ki we can kill Niv it. All good. And now we have Angrath next turn, hopefully. Hopefully our last card in hand is not a counterspell. Sweet. So they have Krasis. Krasis is not difficult to deal with with an Angrath. Okay. Hawkeye. Best kitty. In Westeros. Um. Yeah, if you want my regular playlist. 
Or if you want this playlist, this is the boss playlist. For, yeah, that's the regular one. That's the final boss one. So we don't have too proactive of a hand. Referring to... Play your reclamation. Play your reclamation, go ahead. Go ahead, play reclamation. Go ahead. Need more blue mana. So, you know, it's looking like we're going to punish for not Thought Erasuring on two. But the problem with Thought Erasuring on two is if they had, like, basically two Reclamations. We could take one, but they could have another kind of thing. Ugh. Why can't we have two blue mana? Alright, well... Got punished for not playing Thought Erasure on turn two. Got very punished. This one looks lost. Just had the that second blue man. I could have thought Razor with negate. That would have been nice. Come on. Where is blue mana? Because I can't even counter chemistry's insights, which I would like to be countering those, but I can't. They just get infinite cards. Really nice to have another negate available. One blue land. Blech. So we we do have another life. Yeah, this no second blue is just killing us. But even if we lose this, we still have another match. We have an extra life here. Yeah, this game's over. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So if they had if they had explosion, they would have they could have just dealt 20 to us there. Three reclamations and three insights. That's a really good hand. They're like, well, you know, it's just more than a hand. They're just these insights are really chaining. Well,
They just spent 12 mana. They still have... Or... They spent 16? I don't know. They just spent a ton of mana. Still have enough for all these counter spells. No fire, no steel. Well, if they just draw land here, never know. Draw land. Like they can cycle the Shiv and fire, but if that's another land also, if they have two lands on top, then what? I don't know. We'll see. I can, yeah, like so. I've been doing good, been doing real good, Matthew, yeah. You've had a strong day. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> um, A fair price. You know, looks like we're most likely losing this. But we were 9 0 today before this, so. All good there. So Polis just eats the Shivan fire. I don't really know exactly how I'm flipping this bolus. The other thing is like, there is a new Teferi, and, you know, I know a lot of people are saying they don't like how there's an, a new Teferi that's really good, but that Teferi is awesome against Reclamation. It just shuts down Reclamation, only allowing the opponent to cast spell sorcery speed. Like, this, the extra mana just doesn't do anything. And so I'm definitely glad that there's the Teferi in the format to... Um, to really hurt Reclamation. Or just contempt Phoenix. Which one of these am I contempting? I 
mean, Nim is just such a better card. I gotta contempt that, right? Shiver my horns and hammer. So if I if I contempt Phoenix, they can untap and like use all this mana and like cast some spells and do all the stuff that Niv Mizzet does. And yeah, they have other ones. No fire, no steel. So we can make them discard two cards. We're just so far away from being able to play Bolas and flip Bolas. That's exactly what we need to do. It's definitely worse that they don't have spells to they don't have spells to cast. Discard Niv. That duress was awesome. That was a great draw. Brick, draw some lands. Need our opponent to draw lands for the next fast. couple turns. You're on your own. We've already chemistry's inside it a ton. They bricked. Uh, no. Uh, and this is where Nivmeza takes over. They did not brick. Hopefully these are bricks. Pretty ick. Out. Basically, any spell we lose, kind of thing. It's like, just don't draw any spells, please. No spell whatsoever. Just give me one turn. Give me one turn where I can flip Bolas and kill this Niv Mizzet. Seriously, like, one turn we can do this. If these two cards are bricks, like, they're just both lands. Or, like, a, a reclamation in a land. That's it! Victory! They bricked. Five and oh. Okay, we did it. We did it, Hawkeye. The five win dream. Verse three Niv Mizzets. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what this event reward is. It looks crazy though. What did we get? Who knows? We just got the sun? We got a gold card? What's a gold card? Okay, we got the gold card. Oh, it was 20 gems. All right, so 
Grixis discard ended up working out pretty well there with the 5-0. Um, yeah, like, so basically, it seemed like it was a little bit of an early scoop from the opponent, to be honest, there. A little bit of an early scoop. What what we would have done... So we would have had a couple different options. I think like maybe the best thing would have been to flip Bolus, Steel, Niv-Mizzet, attack with both. They chump with Phoenix. No, we just don't have that much mana to like then cast cards off of. Like flip Bolus, we could go put their Niv-Mizzet into play. I think that's, that's probably our best option is just go grab one of their Niv-Mizzets and put it into play. We could, so we could either like, basically we have a few different options. We could like, we could have put Angrath into play and then have Angrath steal their Niv-Mizzet and attack them, but that's not really that good. We could just put their Niv-Mizzet into play and they're at five. And every time that we draw cards, we ping them from then and all the, the instants and sorceries ping them and we just ping them down from five. Um, the other options, we could minus three and just kill their Niv-Mizzet. So... If we would have just killed their Niv Mizzet, then their Niv Mizzet would just have been dead. So like those were our two real options: either kill their Niv Mizzet or put one of their Niv Mizzets into play under our side. Um, so we've changed. We have changed cards in the deck list a little bit. Um, we had like a couple Cry of the Carnariums in their sideboard that we've taken out for Eldritch Reborn and Ral recently, um, but we haven't changed anything in the main deck in a long time. With this deck for sure. Um, so yeah, that was that was a really good league. So another good 5-0 today. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hawkeye will be happy. <laughs> but thanks for watching some Grixis Discard. I'll see you for the next video.